Good afternoon, friends. I have a new kit release for you today by Edward. It's just arrived. Um, it's a world class edition Tempest Mark V. It's a double combo kit, so you get two um, temp uh, Tempesters in it. Uh, uh, if you've built the Series 1 and Series 2, this can kit contains the series one and two both in the same box these are like the collector editions the top end of their their collection um i've been waiting for a while for this uh collector what collectors want to come out um a little um sneak a bit of information i'm not sure if i'm allowed to say this but i'm going to say it anyway but i know t um edward are in the process of doing a, sp a mustang um they will. They always release the gear kit as single kits, and then they sometimes decide to go and do these world class editions. So I'm hoping they bring out a world class Mustang. If uh, Edward, if you're listening, please do a uh, world class edition Mustang. I would. I would absolutely love that. You got this side of the box. All the uh, options schemes. Like I say, you get two kits in here, so you'll be able to do two of these. Um, I am liking these silver ones with the black and yellow stripes. I think that's completely different, so I might consider doing one of those. The uh, item number or kit number is R0018. This side of the box, which is really nothing on there. You do get resin parts. Two sets of resin wheels, because obviously, like I said before, it's series one and series two. Exhausts, um, and I'm not quite sure what those two other parts are. Let's take a look what we get inside the box. You get all this in one box. They put a box in a box because I don't know, it's just <coughs> with space, I suppose. You get a bag of resin. You get two types of photo etch. We'll take a look at those because there's some slight difference in some of the aircraft. One bag of sprues which contains your wings, your clear, and your fuselage halves. Another giant bag contains the uh, back wings. Some more glass. Sorry, that that is not glass. That is drop tanks. They've done them in clear plastic. Strangely enough, drop tanks in clear plastic. Propellers, different types. Wheels, okay, but you won't be needing those because you've got resin, landing gear, missiles, not rockets. One giant canopy mask. Nothing to say about this. One giant decal sheet, which contains all your air, air, um, aircraft patterns and numbers and serial numbers. And so, this side is your stencil data and stencils. Take this small box out. Let's put this back in here. And then come and take a look at this in a minute. I'll leave them there. Also, you get your quite thick manual and because like I said this is like their high end this edition of um, world class sometimes you get books sometimes you get glasses you get loads of different weird things that they put in there um, I've got a BF1110 to review inside that you get a German medal um, the Spitfire one I've got glass the um, Rock Wolf one contains a glass. Um, I have the jet one. Um, is it the MIG MIG jet? I think that one got got glass and stuff in it. Um, and we get this giant book all about the Tempest. So this is going to be good for weathering. Basically, um, this would be uh, all your reference data to build the aircraft. So, all the information, we go through this in a, in, a, in a little bit. Right. 
like I said, here's your laser cut mask. Nothing to say about that. I like him. Here's your resin parts. I'm going to take a quick book butchers of these. You do have two type of wheels. Um, one, one set of wheels is bigger than the other. I'm not quite sure why. But there's two of them two of the wheels. There's slight difference and slight difference in size. Um, I'm not sure why the Tempest did that. Maybe one aircraft slightly bigger than the other, I'm not sure. But you can see the detail on there saying that it's got dumb lock on it, which is really nice touch. The rear drag tail wheel is is um same size. You're gonna have to put a uh, tire around this. Your exhausts. Yeah, you got four. You get four four of these, so they're exactly the same, and they are hollowed out. So they'll take a nice wash, a little bit, and weathering and etc. Be nice. You do get this other piece which goes to one Tempest, but only one, and I'm not quite sure what this is. Looks like some kind of hydraulic arm of some sort and some something else. I'm really not sure. We have to look in the instructions to see what that is. Um, I do apologise if this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video. Um, but I'll say we've got a bit to get through on these kits. Right, you get two of these ones, so we only need to take a look at one, and you get only one of these. So the slight difference is uh, the seat belts look the same. Um, Instrument panels kind of look like the same, but there's some slight subtle differences. This is your manual, all about your Tempest. If you wish to read this, pause the video. Alright, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to move the camera slightly, guys. Uh, on your first page, get all your sprue map and all your stuff in your kit. Your colour callouts. All done by Mr. Hobby, uh, known as Guns. Um, if you were to use other manufacturers, you're gonna to have to match them up. Uh, like I say, if you've done the uh, series one and two already, the single kits, you you know pretty much what you're in for. So we'll take a quick push of this. You start with your seat for your cockpit, uh, pedals, flight stick, fire back firewall, and instrument panel, which will be follow etch. Savaging it all together, your cage framing, your seat belts, and then sandwich that together as well. And then the giant air scoop at the front going together, sandwiching the two fuselage halves all around your cockpit, so just sandwich it all up. Take note, you're going to have to be careful what steps you're doing because certain steps are for certain aircraft and paint schemes. So go through the instructions, mark out what you're doing so you don't screw it up. It can be easy done with Edward by taking the wrong piece out or adding the wrong piece when it shouldn't be on that aircraft you're building. Undercarriage going together, um, which is the framing of your wheel arches, and then both left and right. Um, yeah, same with the wheel arches again. Um, then sandwiching the wings together. So, uh, the fuselage drop down on top of your wings and then doing your ailerons and flaps 
Um, not sure if you can pose them. Might be a bit of modification you probably have to. Um, there's the uh, bit that goes around the cockpit. Yep, so look, look, like up there, this piece here is for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and J. And then the other side is slight difference. Is that it's for variant D, I, K, and L only. So pay attention. Same as these parts on the front for your guns. Uh, you've got variant M, M and N, and variant D and L, and variant A, B, and C. So pick a scheme and then mark out the options. Um, you land the gear going down. You've got those little pieces going on the end of your wings. It's for M and N only. So like I say, just really make, make sure you pay attention. Your resin wheels. Um, so you like the larger ones were for A, B and C only. And then the smaller ones is for D and N only. Uh, you have the carriage coming together. Both sides and some fine detail parts. Uh, and if you're having it on the ground, you've got a uh, little step to put on so your pilot can climb up into the airframe, into the craft. Canopy going on, aerials, propeller. Um, you've got propeller, which is basic for all your variants. Another canopy going on. Your optional, open or closed. Making sure everything's square. Drop tanks going on, optional, which is for D, F, and I only. Rockets are for option L paint scheme only. There's like bombs as well. Then you've got your canopy mask and mask for your wheels. Self explanatory. This is one of your schemes, 1944. Uh, England. Um, Bearwell, Bear, Bedwell, May Bay, Bedwell Bay. I'm not sure where that is. I have to Google these and locate these air, air, air frames where they're from. I like doing that. So one scheme, which is the R, uh, RB option, which is camouflage, grey, yellow nose. Some of these will vary in your series one and series two single kits. So if you've already built them and you've got this like I have, you're gonna have to do different do different different ones or you might even want to do them again it's tied up shoe this one is june 1944 normal um d-day stripes on it this one is the rb again but with the d-day stripes so one with stripes and one without um this one's got jbw on it Camouflage and grey, black nose. October 1944. This Bardwell Bay again. Uh, SDW squadron. Um, camouflage and grey. Yellow, white nose, sorry. This is um, 1945. USW camouflage and grey bottom, black nose SAM camouflage grey with a red nose. This is 1945, summer of 1945 in Germany. This was in Germany, August 1945. Camouflage and grey with black nose. EDM uh Denmark late summer 1945 camouflage with yellow nose with grey bottom this one is Germany late 1945 camouflage with grey bottom again black nose they're all the same pretty much the same colours now you go on to the silver ones or natural metal finishes and um, this is Germany February 1946 so this is Silvery coloured one, aluminum as they call it, or aluminium, wherever you are in the world. But you notice the colours are slightly different. You've got like this light grey, dark grey, and you've got like this beigey colour. It's the panels that have been 
technically weathered and worn so that's a nice touch it shows you on the air on that aircraft which is either replacement panels or etc so that's a nice touch um this one's just all one one color it looks like it's like in pristine condition it hasn't got any pa panel replacements or anything this one contains the rockets this is silver i do like this one this is germany late 1947 And now this is the one with the stripes I do like, you've got both sides. Um, this is in Great Britain, um, September 1952 now, so this is super late. This is nowhere near nothing to do with the war now. Um, so this is the silver with the yellow and black stripes. Um, I think that the yellow and black stripes is to do with testing and stuff. Um, Great Britain, July 1955. So even later now, this is in the 50s. Silver, yellow nose, sorry, red nose, sorry, yellow and black stripes. And I do like these ones though, but they're super late, nothing to do with the war now. And your stencil data. to go through these screws and say like I mentioned before if you've already built the series one and two you know what you're in for you get two of these which are identical so we're gonna to need to take a look at one of those There's your, um, your glass, your canopy glass. No seam line in it whatsoever, so it's going to be a nice touch. You got some of your lights and your front part of your glut canopy. It's going to go together really well. So you get two of those because there's two aircraft in the kit. get two airframes I'm not sure if there's any slight differences I don't think there is nope these two are identical so there's no difference in them so this is if you like all covered in rivets that's what I like about Edward for the money you get for the value of their kits are superb I mean I think they're one I believe, I reckon they're the best in the world in my opinion um other people might may say different, but I believe they're the, the top manufacturer, manufacturer up there for the style of their kit, the detail of their kit, and their va and their value for money is superb. And their uh, customer service is superb because I had a, a kit come I bought from them and it got lost in transit, and they managed to track it and find it, and I got it, managed to get it. They absolute superb service. I've never had an issue with them apart from that one slight issue where it got lost in transit and they managed to find it. The uh, upper wings covered in detail. You get a slight marbling there because that's from all that detail inside. The ejection pins, very, very little. They're in locations where you're not going to see them. The lower wing surfaces, again, is completely covered in rivets. So it's going to take a nice wash You get two of those, they're yeah, exactly the same because there's two kits. You get two of these, which is the clear drop tanks i don't know why i've done them in clear maybe they forgot to add them and then the last minute they realized they i don't know but anyway so it doesn't matter about these being scratched and damaged it to me that much um and having defects because they the drop tanks are just going to be covered in paint anyway so but i don't know why they've done them in clear i can't can't explain that you get two of these, 
identical sprues. Two of these, two of these. Two top of propeller. I do apologize if there's any background noise because there's kids and people outside making noise. Bloody assholes. Excuse my language. There's your flaps. Again, covered in rivets. It all blends in. And our rivets go all the way around. Some kits like they tend to like fade out or stop. But with Edward, they're just spot on. Two type of uh, spinner, fine detail parts, the firewall parts, undercarriage, looks like lights maybe, but you don't probably won't need them. That's absolute superb, just as good as the previous ones. All your fine detail parts, your undercarriage, piping, foot wells, the giant X scoop part at the front for the air, all. You find aerials and steps, so you have to be really careful with these two parts. You've got exhausts, you won't be needing them, but even, even, on oh, focus, even down to the plastic ones, they are really good. They're not hollowed out, but they but they are just as good, but you won't be needing them because you've got resin. So this is, this brew's the same. This one's got rockets and wheels, you won't be needing the wheels because you've got resin. But you will need the inner certs for the small ones. Or the tyres for the small ones, sorry. Which are wherever they are. I can't see them. But there's your, your rockets. A nice, nice touch on this kit. Yes, it looks superb. I enjoy building these. Do this over here. You got your deckle sheet. It's printed by a cartographer, cartograph. Sorry, I keep saying it. Always say it wrong. Cartograph decals, sorry. One giant sheet. So these are all nice in colour. Register. Never never had a problem with the decals from Cartograph. Your serial numbers, your squadron badges, all your stencil data down the bottom, the walkways, a little bit of care film on some of them. These are a glossy uh, decal on the glossy side. But one well, giant sheet, just about get it on camera. Huge. So that's nice. We'll put that away. And now the collector's item for the kit is a giant book. I'm gonna pause you again, I'm gonna move your position of the camera slightly so we can take a butcher of this book quickly. Right, Tempest. Uh it's gonna be your manual for everything, information about the aircraft. Soft back book. So you can have all the information about your aircraft. Nice uh, photographs. So these are prototype ones at the early stages of the development. Still prototypes. I 
think technically all these uh, kits are going to be in this book, so you're going to have reference photographs to um, help with uh, weathering and where the scratches and stuff are going to be and so forth. This one here is, 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 is in your kit. Mm. Um, if, oh, the battery's going to run out of my camera. I better get, get through this quite quickly. Didn't realise the camera was battery was low. Uh, this is all nice. One of the crashed ones. Markings on the side of your kills. And a hangar being built as well in the background. They're carrying an empty drop tank, so it clearly can't be that heavy. It would be with, with fuel in it though. Sitting on the end of the wing. The one, another silver one. That's in your kit as well. That one's in your kit. See, it's like there's the aircraft and there's the real, real photograph of it. That's one of them I like. There's one of the prototype ones. I'll, I'll, I'll call them prototypes because I think the stripes are prototypes or testing stuff. I'm really not sure if there's a Tempest flying today. It would be nice if there is. Um, kit doesn't come with engines, unfortunately. I'm not sure if there's aftermarket out there, but it would be a nice photograph to do the engine. All your pipes. Carrying some really small bombs, a big bomb. Cleaning out the gun barrel. So there you go, guys. That's the uh, collector's edition that comes with this book. Um, I got it from Edward directly. So this is the uh, version that everyone else would get. It's not a pre-release or anything. This is the uh, manufacturer's um, version. So you're going to get it exactly the same. Thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I catch you later.